Welcome back. In this video, you will learn to connect your Next.js application with the Node.js API. I already created a logging and sign up from in the previous video. Before watching this, I recommended you to watch the previous part. Link in the description. First of all, we need a React hook. Here I'm installing React hook form. Then I also need a React Postify for the notification. Next, I'm creating a components directory inside app directory to create our notification component. Create a show toast function with switch case inside notify file. Here I am calling the toast success and error method as per the case and passing the message. Next create a notify function to return the toast container. Then creating a model directory inside app. Here I will define all the data models of our forms inside the user model file exporting a user info class with full name, email, password and confirm password for our sign up form. And user login class with email and password for our login form. Let's import use form hook from react hook form package and pass the data model with register importing handle submit and reset as use form functions. Using the register function mention all the fields with the required rule. Next.js all pages are rendered on the server side, but use form will render only on the client side. For that reason, I'm mentioning use client at the top of the page. Now creating an asynchronous on submit function with the data parameter. Then adding try catch. If it is catch any error, it shows the error with toast. That's why I'm using show toast function from our notify component and pass the message and type as an error. Next, create the API endpoint. Before that, let's create a public environment variable for the API path inside the next configuration. Now call this environment variable using process.env.variable name and mention the sign up route path from our Node.js API. Next, create a constant object as options with method post and header content type as JSON. Pass the JSON data as string using JSON stringify. Then execute the API call using fetch method by passing endpoint and options. Next, convert the response to a JSON with await. Check the response status as per the API. If response status is 202, then return the success message and reset the form. Else, show the error message. Now call this onSubmit function with handle submit inside onClick event of the button. Finally, add the notify component to show the notification toes. Let's try the sign up form. Here I need to import the toes CSS on the component. Here we go, our sign up form is working. Now come to the login form. 
Inside the login page, import use form hook and pass the login data model. Then create on submit function with try catch. On the endpoint constant, mention the user login API path. Option object will be similar like sign up form. With the fetch function, call the API with await and convert the response to JSON. If response status is 200, then show the success message and reset the form. Else show the error message. Now call the notify component and register the fields with the field name. Finally add handle submit by passing on submit function inside on click event of the button. Here is the final result. Thanks for watching. Please like and share and let me know your opinion in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe.